Ramblin' Rabbit is my favourite Firefly Funhouse puppet. It's why we talk about him a little bit more than the others here on the channel. But this video is special. We know Ramblin' Rabbit holds a secret. We don't know what that secret is because all we've seen from the inside of him is stuffing. But that secret has been kept so well that every time he's just about to tell us, Bray Wyatt kills him in some weird, wacky fashion, and we never find out. But why? Well, before we start, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and of course, like the video. It really does help the channel out. So what is Ramblin' Rabbit's secret? Well, to work it out, we're going to have to go back to basics and examine what the Firefly Funhouse puppets themselves actually represent to Bray Wyatt, to the Firefly Funhouse, and to us as fans. We've always been confident that Huskus the Pig Boy is Husky Harris, Abby the Witch, Sister Abigail, Mercy the Buzzard is Wayland Mercy, someone who helped Bray Wyatt, Wyndham Rotunda, come up with the Bray Wyatt character itself, and someone that he based that character on. So we guessed those three, and we're pretty you know, confident with those. But Ramblin' Rabbit has always kind of been the mystery. He's the odd one out that we can never quite figure out exactly what he is. We've always gone on the basis that he's the critics. He's the critics that criticise everything Bray Wyatt does. Says, oh, we don't like supernatural stuff. We don't like this. We don't like that. But ultimately, that goes against what the other main puppets stand for. The other main puppets are representations and memories for Bray. Not just random critics. All into one random rabbit. That done doesn't make sense. So what if Ramblin' Rabbit is some kind of perception of Bray Wyatt himself? Maybe Ramblin' Rabbit is the part of Bray Wyatt that wants to tell us the secret. But Bray Wyatt knows he can't tell us whatever that secret is. Whether it's to do with him, whether it's to do with the Fiend. We know there's been secrets revealed in the Funhouse, but never what Ramblin' Rabbit has been wanting to tell us. But So why? Why would this be such a big secret? And why would Bray stop him from saying it all the time? It's almost like he's suppressing the secret. Something inside of him wants it to come out, but he knows he has to stop himself from telling us what's really going on inside the Firefly Funhouse. And that makes sense because we literally witness Ramblin' Rabbit come back to life all the freaking time. He'll die a hundred times a year and then he's back. The very next week, he's back. How? Why? Well, because the secret doesn't go away. That urge to tell us doesn't go away. That could be what Ramblin' Rabbit truly represents to Bray Wyatt and to the Firefly Funhouse. He could be the inner core of Bray Wyatt wanting to tell us what that secret is. But if we take a step back and say, OK, let's accept the fact Ramblin' Rabbit does indeed stand for the critics of Bray Wyatt, of the supernatural stuff, of the fun house, etc. Then what would the secret then be? Could it be the secret that Bray Wyatt is able to resurrect the fiend and however Bray Wyatt loses or fans claim he's buried, he'll always come back bigger, badder, stronger and raise more hell than ever before? Is that the secret? Because we kind of see that on TV anyway, so we do kind of know that. So what would be the point in suppressing that kind of secret? There has to be another big secret hidden away in the Firefly Funhouse that obviously Ramblin' Rabbit wants to tell us. And that's why I do prefer the theory that Ramblin' Rabbit is actually a representation of Bray Wyatt himself. I like the idea. And of course, the hill glove comes into play 
We've seen it actually resurrect Rambling Rabbit. It makes sense because, again, like I said, that secret doesn't go away. Why would the puppet that wants to expose it? That side of Bray Wyatt is forever. It's eternal and it's not going to go anywhere until maybe that secret is exposed. Maybe that's the secret of Rambling Rabbit's longevity and how he continually comes back. I like the idea because, as like I said, it then fits in with all the other Firefly Funhouse puppets and what they represent. They represent parts of Bray Wyatt. And also, there's a big secret about Rambling Rabbit that no one's ever really spoken about. We have long theorised that the Firefly Funhouse puppets could one day, eventually, be portrayed by other WWE superstars. It's definitely possible we may have already seen it. Now, if you go back to the Muscle Man dance, this is the one with Daniel Bryan on SmackDown. And of course, you can clearly see what uh, Bray Wyatt was wearing during the Muscle Man dance on this picture and throughout other parts of the video as well. We saw Ramblin' Rabbit playing the keyboard. Now, one, the keyboard wasn't plugged in. How was he playing the keyboard? Two, seriously, that means he's in charge of the music and stuff, right? That just makes sense. So who the hell is this playing the DJ equipment? Because we can clearly see two hands. They're not Bray Wyatt's hands because you can tell from the lack of tattoos. And just remember what Bray Wyatt is wearing during the Muscle Man dance. Yes, he changed the t-shirt to the orange t-shirt. That's not important because whose legs are they? They're not Bray Wyatt's legs. They're too thin. But they're dancing with Huskus the Pig Boy. So was there a random person in the Firefly Funhouse or multiple other people in the Funhouse? Could that be Rambling Rabbit's giant secret that behind the camera there are other people that we've just never, ever known about? That would be interesting. Obviously, it does add something doubtful to that story because obviously Alexa Bliss has been in the fun house. Other people have actually gone to the fun house. No one's reported that someone else is there. But that can be easily disclaimed by just saying they wasn't there at the time. The fun house and Bray present the puppets almost as if they are sentient beings. They're not just puppets. They are their own like characters, if you will. And they're very much alive. That's the crucial part of this story. Because Rambling Rabbit so desperately wants to tell us this secret. But yet he's been outside the Firefly Funhouse. We've seen him backstage on Raws, on Smackdowns many times. He could have easily escaped the Funhouse. He could have easily said to Randy Orton. Hey man, do you want to know the secret? I'm telling you now, if you take me to somewhere safe. He didn't. He didn't at all. And that's what makes me think that whatever this secret is, he's okay knowing it. He knows he can't tell anyone else. And he knows that Bray will stop him. And maybe that's a secret that Bray Wyatt has told Alexa Bliss in her time in the Funhouse. Maybe she actually now knows one of the key secrets about the Funhouse's existence and about Rambling Rabbit and the puppets and Bray Wyatt and the Fiend. Imagine if Lily and the Fiend ever do clash. It's not something I expect to happen soon, but imagine if Alexa Bliss and Lily was to reveal a giant secret about the Firefly Funhouse. That could be crucial in whatever War of Gods we get in the future between the two. I really like the idea that Rambling Rabbit represents that part of Bray Wyatt, something longing to get out, and maybe that is the secret of Rambling Rabbit. I don't know, it's just fun because the other puppets all represent part of Bray. Makes sense too. We all know Bray Wyatt has tons of secrets in his head, tons of storylines and tons of ideas. Some of them will get exposed at some point. He will tell us secrets 
eventually. Maybe the big one never gets found out. But if you didn't know, this is Theory Week right here on the channel. We will be back with the next theory video on Wednesday right here on the channel. We will be back tomorrow after Raw for things you might have missed. So stay around for that as long as stuff happens on the show. Otherwise, I might have an issue. Nonetheless, that should come up about an hour after Raw. Please make sure you like the video. Share the video so your friends can find it. Like the video. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you as always next time. Peace!